was a few more views of this video. My username is Waterboy. And, uh, uh, yeah, once again, I'm going through my dream journal. Um, this one is called Forever Town, or is it? Um, so yeah, this is, this one's pretty weird. The, the last one was pretty dark, although this one is pretty weird. Um, it's a dream where in the setting was a town where typically nothing changes. It's all ordinary. Whatever, whatever is iconic stays iconic. It may be a blessing or a curse, depending on perspective. The person who took my perspective in the dream was rarely allowed to go to school, and unfortunately that stuck. It's, it was because of something he did, or he was like accused of doing. Uh, after having a school day that doesn't, after having a school day that doesn't normally, that he doesn't normally get, the bus delivered him to a house of a married man and woman. Uh, he might not have had parents and was assigned adults to adopt him, I'm not sure, um, they guide him all through the house and uh, was about to show him something expensive. Could be like a decoration or trophy or a charm. Uh, apparently disappeared, possibly stolen. Uh, they were on shock. Uh... Hold up. Hot pockets are done. Let me do. Okay, anyways. Uh, okay, so. They were in shock because nothing, they were in shock because typically nothing happens like that in a town like this. Yeah. The next day in science class, we had sex ed where someone had to show their private parts as a demonstration example, which honestly is disgusting. But hey, whatever your brain processes in a dream, it may happen in the dream. And don't act like we don't get weird thoughts. <laughs> okay, uh, when I went back to the same house with a married couple, one of the adults uh, walked him over to the table uh, the other adult, uh, walked the other kid to the table. I mean, the other adult walked another kid to the table. Uh, the other child happened to look exactly like the person I'm taking my perspective. Um, before I knew it, I woke up despite the many questions I may have had. I mean, like... There are a bunch of bizarre things happening in a town wherever uh, there typically nothing changes. And, like, who the heck is that kid? Is this, like, a body swap scenario? Some sort of... I don't know. Uh, yeah, there was a lot of confusion and stuff. So, anyways, that's all for this episode of Letterboy's Dream Journal.